Putin's network rivals Elon Musk, but co uh, cobweb of bank accounts, assets, hides his full value, experts say, and guess who wrote the story? Fox Business. Oh, oh really? Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's go through it. Here we go. Experts suggest Putin's network rivals top businessman uh, Elon Musk hidden behind a cobweb of secrets and offshore deals with estimated ranging between $70 billion to $200 billion, according to Rebecca Koffler. Putin's rise to wealth involved gaining support from oligarchs through uh, uh, coercive tactics, uh, uh, accruing significant earnings and assets, including luxurious items like mega yachts and Black Sea palaces. While official disclosures cite modest income and living standards time reported, the Kremlin's protection, known as Krisha, shields businessmen who comply with kickbacks, contributing to a complex scheme of wealth redistribution and uh, ups, uh, what is that word? Obfuscation. Uh, uh, obfuscation. Obf obfuscation. Blocking. Ex exemplified by close ally Yuri Kovalchuk's role in managing Putin's expensive forest compound in Karelia, according to East to West. Adam. Well, so the title of the article is Putin's Net Worth Rivals Elon Musk. Let me show you what a builder and creator is versus an absolute thief. So Elon Musk has built company after company. He's right now between tied between first and second uh, richest man in the world, him and uh, our friend from LVMH, uh, Bernard Arnault, Arnaud. uh, LVMH, French. Louis Vuitton, Moet Hennessy. But the reason that Elon Musk's wealth is so great is because he has equity in massive companies, namely Tesla, which is part of the Magnificent Seven. We just talked about that, as well as building all the other companies that we talked about, Neuralink, SpaceX, um, the Tesla. Boring Company, obviously Tesla, uh, Te uh, Twitter, we'll see what happens with that. X. But you're looking at, so this is the definition of communism. This is someone who has built nothing. You know, the running joke about Russia is that it's a gas station with nuclear weapons or a gas station that's parading around as a country. So I, I, we talk about autocrats and oligarchies, um, but what Putin is, is a kleptomaniac. Uh, a kleptocracy. A kleptocracy. Uh, so what's the definition of a klepto? It's the inability to resist the urge to steal. Uh, kleptocracy is also called as a thievocracy. They steal money from their country uh, and they, they line their own pockets. Uh, they steal money. They steal land, Putin specifically. Um, they steal wealth from their people and they'll steal your life if you say anything otherwise. And that's who Putin is. And, um, yeah, there it is right there. Kleptocracy, the Greek word of thief, is also referred to as thievocracy, is a government whose corrupt leaders, kleptocrats, use political power to expropriate the wealth of the people and the land they govern, typically by, you know, force is probably what it says there. Like Nancy Pelosi, so, basically. So they're yeah. taking money from the... Okay, got you. Go ahead. I okay. Wanna, yeah. Um, this is what communist <laughs> dictators do. They build nothing. They just... Um, distribution of wealth and they steal it all and they line their own pockets. You know, I got stopped. There's a story for you. When I was in um, college, I was broke as shit. And I went to Publix, which is a grocery store down here in Florida. And I walked, forgot to pay for a public sub, a $7 sub. And the cop stopped me and he said, uh, you're going to, you're going to pay for that, buddy. And I was like, oh, my bad. I totally forgot. My bad. But the reality is, is I tried to steal a stupid subway, uh, public sub, and I got caught. And I got slapped on the wrist. The problem is, if you don't ever get caught, nobody holds you to account, and you don't get um, hold accountable for your actions, you keep stealing. There was a famous football player, uh, Ty, uh, what, Mathau, what was his name? Uh Tyrone, he was a Mateo, Heisman. Ma, 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 the, the, the Hawaiian guy? Yeah. He, he was called the Honey Badger. Y yeah, yeah, yeah. He was called the Mateo, Honey Badger. Mateo. Um, pull up the Honey Badger. I think it's Mateo. Uh, M-A-T. Tyrone Matt. Yeah, he was drafted in Arizona. Mateo. Was he? Yeah. Notre His Dame. girlfriend oh. died. Yeah, 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 Tyrone Matthew. Yeah, Matthew, exactly. Matthew, my bad. I thought I was about so no, no, they no, called this him. This is not him. You're no, not. This is not him. No, that's him. That's him. His girlfriend what? This he got no, trolled? You're bringing a different story to this. Yeah. What I'm okay. talking about is this. But okay, they my... called him the honey badger. Yes. And what they would say is the honey badger is one of the more fierce, fiercest animals yes, this yeah. guy's in the honey. world. Exactly. That's yeah. him. He played for LSU. Yeah. Heisman he don't candidate. give a shit. Honey badger doesn't and, give a and shit. And they said the honey badger takes what he wants. 
Yeah. And that's why he's such a badass animal out there in the wild. The honey badger takes what he wants. The thing with Putin. Except when he plays against Brady, but go ahead. That's true. <laughs> Brady will beat him. Honey Badger doesn't give There's a, a story. There's Brady went to him right yeah. after him and uh, talking trash in his ears. You've never seen that before. Brady's America. Yeah, keep going. The honey badger is Putin. The problem with Putin is that he takes what he wants. He jails dissidents. He'll kill you if you say anything otherwise. And he's lined his pockets to the tune of $200 billion, and that's a low amount. Elon Musk has built companies, has become one of the biggest, greatest minds of the world. Putin is an absolute thug. So is it shocking to hear that he's richer or as rich as Elon Musk? This is right there. Um, no, because he takes what he wants. So unless you get stopped like me leaving Publix with a sub, unless you hold someone to account, they'll just keep taking what they want. And I, I said this last time, congratulations, Russia, two years in a row, number one most corrupt country in the world. You're killing it. Your, your, your leader, Vladimir Putin, were $200 billion. My boy, that's my boy. That's your guy. That's I my know guy. it. my guy. Um, it's my guy. Unless we hold him to account, he'll keep stealing and he'll keep thieving in this kleptomaniac autocracy that's called Russia. Keep in mind one thing. The president of Russia, pull this up, Rob, pull up salary. The president of Russia makes about $135,000 a year. In America, it's 400000 You know, right, it was right there. $120,000 per annum, not in rubles. How is someone that makes that amount of money worth so, two hundred so billion? I love that you're bringing this up. So this leads me to one thing: if this is what you really believe about that people who do this, then in 2024 on November 5th, you're only voting for one person because that one person is not using the government's money to run. That one person used his own money to run. RFK, you're talking about? Not RFK. Oh. That that guy's using Nikki. You know, no, it's only oh, one Trump. guy. You know who he okay. is. Got so, meanwhile, if you want to find that net worth before and after, Rob, if you want to pull up, you know, Obama's, um, I don't know, Clinton's and Biden's net worth before or and Bernie after. Bernie or Pelosi. If you can do this, this would be a great exercise for Adam because I like where Adam's going if with any of them you know, are if, billionaires, if, I'd be shocked. Well, if but you can, 200 billion, richest man in the yeah, world. Yeah, that's the one right level. there. So zoom in, zoom in on one right there. So that's pretty interesting. So... Uh, Trump's net worth before running four and a half billion. Now it's two billion. Obama's three million. Now forty million. Clinton's five hundred thousand. Now one hundred million. And then you got Biden's is on that list as well. So you know you're kind of interesting the angle and direction you're taking. I didn't think you were going to be this bold this morning with this story, well, specifically the fact that it impacts America. And the difference between us and them is you're right in a communistic nation, you can steal more and get away with it because. There is less regulation. In a country like ours that there's more regulation, you have to be more deceptive and conniving and more slick to be able to steal money. And you got to give respect. If you're, if you're saying your, your value in the fact that you don't like people going into politics and then all of a sudden becoming rich and having houses in Hawaii and, you know, paddle boarding, you take a day off, you don't take a day off and, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a very, very good political point you just made right there, Mr. You, Adams. You also. bring up a great point. Yeah. And I, 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 as someone that minored and uh, double majored in sarcasm, I see what you're doing. I respect you. Uh, there is a big difference between, and not that I'm advocating, there's a big difference between 40 million, 100 million, and $200 billion. It, there, so when there's you, a difference because here's the real difference, homeboy. The difference is... That's a guesstimated. The difference here is this is audited. <laughs> yeah. So do you, you can do you question this guesstimation? I, 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 I of From course Fox I question. Business? question of course I question the guesstimation. Will I say he's worth a couple billion dollars? Yes. Would I say he has used the power that he has to take money away X Y Z? Yes. But you know what else that does? Mm -hmm. If you're gonna go there, no problem. What I say, no one's increased their net worth more because this person's learned his habits from uh, Putin. You know who's probably gotten the richest if that guesstimation applies to people that steal money from their government and nobody catches them? There's this guy down the street from Russia, okay? They're like a block away from each other. What's Zelensky? this guy's name? Zelensky. Oh, the guy at the green So shirts? you know what? The Zelensky guy yeah. has probably increased his net worth the most the last two years, Adam, if that's correct. And I think probably maybe Putin behind closed doors angry because Zelensky is getting richer than him because there is no way in the history of mankind we've had a better beggar 
a better fundraiser, a better guy that goes around and raising money and pleading and crying and all this stuff. And then somehow, some way, he's getting richer well, okay. and doing commercials with clothes that cost three, four, five, ten thousand dollars with him something? and his beautiful wife. This yes. might get uncomfortable. Here we go. If you were the president of Ukraine, yeah, your name was PBD Zelensky. Okay, and you were invaded by this thug called Vladimir Putin. What would you do? What do you mean? Would you not go beg, plead, borrow money? Would you not appeal to NATO and your European allies? Would you not try to go and basically market yourself to the I, world I, as help me out you, here? You I've been just, invaded. You just, you just, what would you do? You just changed the story. I don't know. I'm asking you a question. No, no, no. You're changing the story. Okay. What I'm saying to you is one could make the argument for Zelensky also being one of the richest people in the world who's stealing money and that's speculation. What Fox is also doing is they're speculating. By the way, a speculation that the world probably believes in. No one's questioning that. But the difference is mm -hmm. we don't have law and order in Russia the way we have law and order in America, which is why we like law and order. But for you to believe that if the law and order and the ability and the control was available to the Clintons and Obamas and others to create that kind of wealth, they're probably going to sleep at night envious that they can't steal that kind of money I, and I, use their politics to make a lot of money With all due respect, themselves. my CEO, my friend Patrick Bedavid, this has nothing to do with the Clintons and Obamas. And we can talk about but that. It does, you sort of no, no, it does. And though. I believe they should be held to account. But they're not going they're to. They're never going to. They're not going to. Oh. Okay. Okay. Can we? Oh, so everyone wants to. Tom wants to be all pissy pants over here because I'm talking about Vladimir Putin. Tom's been quiet we can for talk, a while. Uh, good. That's why we're doing well today. Now the. Oh, here Tom, we relax. Go. We're joking here, we here guys. You know what, dude? Sometimes you know what, dude? you're, you're so, like you France. You're like France. You're a member of NATO, but you're a pain in the ass to everybody else. <laughs> Good one, Tom. No one understood that one. The, oh, yes, but did. here's my question. D can everyone be wrong, but can Putin be way more wrong? So here's, it, a, here's a question country, before you answer that. Whatever Listen, it, this guy's a former KGB member. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. He's a gangster. Yeah. You know what gangsters do? They do gangster shit. They do gangster <laughs> stuff. Rico. But the, the Rico laws don't apply to politicians. Do you not understand that? Do you not understand that the way to go into, you, you start off and you say, I want to make a lot of money. If you start off and you say, I want to make a lot of money or you want to have a lot of power. If you want to make a lot of money, you go into business, you have to bust your ass, build equity, work your ass up for a couple of decades, and then you're going to have some money, right? Exactly but if you go in politics, yep. how do you make money in politics? How do you actually make money in politics? Crony capitalism, lobbyists, it's of shady course. business. Which means, I agree. Which means the part that I'm agreeing with you mm -hmm. is anybody who has been a lifelong member of politics, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, and they get rich, they're stealing from you, Period. Anybody that all of a sudden creates that kind of wealth, that's what they're doing. By the way, do you know who invested in NVIDIA right before? Can you type in NVIDIA and huh. type in Pelosi? You ever heard of these people called Pelosi Na and NVIDIA? Nancy? If you type in NVIDIA oh. and you type in Pelosi, okay? Oh, there she is. Let's see when. When, Nancy, when, when Nancy, this? this is a month ago. Nancy Pelosi disclosed a seven-figure bet on NVIDIA over the Christmas holiday despite recent efforts to permanently ban lawmakers from trading stocks. What a great timing. Nancy oh. Pelosi, Guys. the point is, yes. he's doing it at much higher levels than others. You know why, though? One reason. One reason. Law and order, because he can. And guess who else doesn't have law and order? Ukraine, because he can. Mm -hmm. Guess who else doesn't have law and order? China, because they can. Guess who else doesn't have law and order? Iran. You know what Khamenei's are worth? Yeah. Type in Khamenei net worth. Khamenei is a very traditional American last name, yeah, Rob, you so you should know how to spell it. Khamenei starts with K-H, Kha. Khamenei <laughs> net the mic, Pat. Get Khamenei net worth, family net worth, okay? If you time Who's Khamenei. that fisherman? Rob, I can't believe you spell, can't spell Khamenei. Right there, go right there. No, 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 second one, Rob. Just go to the second one. U.S. claims Khamenei controls wealth over what? $200 billion. They're richer than Putin. What's the point here? These stories... This is five years ago. If these guys were worth $200 billion five years ago, they're probably worth $600 billion today, $400 billion today. These are not new stories. Politicians in countries that lack law and order 
become richer than politicians and countries that there's law and order. But regardless, the people that create money through getting into politics that there's law and order, if they were in these types of countries, they would have also taken $200 billion. The profile of somebody that can make $50 million of politics in one country doesn't make them less innocent than somebody else that makes $200 billion because they have better laws to, cor- to corrupt the nation. That applies all across. That's all I'm saying to you. I'm not saying this, this is a... You know, uh, 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 I'm defending a guy or not defending a guy. I've always said, when I asked Sammy DeBull Gravano and, and, and uh, what's his name? Sammy DeBull and Michael Francis, Michael Francis, when I rented yeah. that house and we did the, the, the three-day, 24-hour in interview with those guys. You know what question I asked them? I gave them names. Tell me which one of these guys would have made the best mafia boss. I mentioned a lot of different names. You know what's one of the names I mentioned? Hillary Clinton. Because she walks around like a boss. Yeah. Putin's a boss. These certain people are bosses, okay? You got them on all sides. And, and she's only envious that the regulation here doesn't allow her to make this kind of money because she would definitely take advantage. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.